I would say that nothing is actually more important than storytelling through music when you're a composer for films and television. And I think the way that a composer becomes better at that is first of all, becoming a lover of story. Watch every movie you can, read books, make sure you know the classics. I always tell people to go through the AFI list of uh, top 100 movies and make sure you've seen all those. But the big thing for me is, you know, collaborate with the people who have lived with the stories longest and especially the ones who have actually created those stories. So for me, I become the best storyteller I can by spending real time and asking great questions and listening uh, intently to my directors and producers, especially when the writer, uh, the director is also the writer. Um, I feel like at the very beginning of the process, I try to see the earliest rough cuts. I always try to read the script as soon as I possibly can. I'll even be sent dailies sometimes when they're able to do do so. And for me, it's about getting not only into the minds of the characters and finding out what the arcs are, but it's also very much about pacing. And that's something that you kind of can't get until it's shot. Uh, when you start seeing footage cut together, you start even realizing how fast are the characters moving, how quick are they speaking, because that tells you a lot about how quick things are moving inside in their minds. And I do feel like, you know, Kevin Hart's a good example of mine because I he's such a fast talker, but it's really very much the way he moves and speaks as well, and, and also even you can tell his mind works that quick. So all of the movies I've done with Kevin, I'll notice that there's a lot of quick pacing. It can't be loud and busy because he talks really fast and you don't want to get in his way, but it's always got a bit of a nice uh, rhythm to it. But I feel like you can really learn that the best from the people who made the movie. That's why I think, you know, probably my biggest secret is uh, develop relationships with directors and writers and producers that you really connect with and then keep making the movies with them. For me, it's those directors that I've worked with six, seven, eight times, like Tim Story and Seth Gordon and Eric Kripke, where we have such a shorthand that I know when Eric says, well, this needs to be sparse and, you know, it's a little tentative. I know exactly what Eric means by tentative because we've done, you know, four movies and five shows together and we used to live next door to each other in college, so I know exactly what that means. So I think the more, as a composer, you can become part of the filmmaking team and consider yourself a filmmaker first and a storyteller first, and your part of that process is music. But your real job is to help tell that story.